Hello all, Sam Morgan here. For the second video, this one is about OBS, on how to stream DDO with OBS. So, Open Broadcaster software is pretty much the standard for most people. You have Shadowplay, you have XSplit, you have a couple other options, but for Twitch streaming, OBS is really the go-to at this time. Um, obsproject.com, hit download, grab it for Windows 7 or 8, um, install it, and uh, run it. Now, when you run OBS, you will see a screen such as this. Now, obviously, it's doing the whole inception thing at the moment because I'm recording what I'm showing you but the real point is to show you that um, the windows and how you set it up so here we go with settings general settings you choose a profile name for example since I stream on my own channel which is Seymourgu at Twitch and then the DDO stream channel which is DDO stream at Twitch I have a profile for each of them, and I can switch quickly and easy between them uh, at any time when I want to switch where I'm streaming. So if I'm streaming my Tuesday shows on DDO Stream, I'm using my OP on my DDO Stream profile. Otherwise, I'm using my Seymour profile. That's really handy for if you have that situation. Otherwise, you don't need to mess with it. You can use the default profile name or whatever. Just get it going. It's not a big deal. Um, the encoding settings, Twitch actually has a page, which I'll show in a minute that tells you a lot of this. Here's what I'm using, if you want that for reference. The important thing up on the settings, on the broadcast settings page, is to go to mode live stream, stream streaming servers Twitch, and then choose one of the servers. And then the very, very most important thing is the stream key. You get your stream key from... Twitch itself. So if you go over to Twitch and you look at your dashboard, for example, you will see an option for stream key. That's the one you want. So go to Twitch, go to your profile, and then go to Twitch or stream key and hit the show key button. Obviously, I'm not going to do that because I don't feel like changing my stream key. Otherwise, everybody can stream to my channel, which is not fun. But you have that ability to get it real quickly and easily, and then you're golden as far as OBS to which you're concerned to stream. Now, if you go to, I believe it's help on Twitch, and you go to how to broadcast PC games on Twitch, you'll see some recommended specifications, some broadcasting software, and what I really like down here is under helpful links, there's a setup guide for OBS setup. There's also XSplit, FSSplit, and broadcaster requirements. So choose OBS setup, and this is a decent walkthrough on the settings that Twitch recommends and some testing you can do and all the setup stuff, including your audio device, which I know some people have had problems with setting up. I had problems setting up myself, but it gives you a whole lot of stuff it goes through a lot of the different options in OBS, and it, while it may not look exactly the same or be in the same place because OBS has had several new versions since this guide was created, you'll at least get up and running. To a certain extent, I'm going over some of this, but I just want to let you know that there's these details here that uh, should help you get everything set up and do some basic debugging when you're having problems. It goes over camera setup and audio setup and all that. So keep that in mind, that is an available resource. Um, as far as other settings, I automatically save stream to file, and I have a path, which as you can see here, you can customize. I do that just to help have clarity, and then I can just always look at my videos by time and date and know what's going on there. Um, I have a SSD on C, so that's why I'm saving everything to D. It's a regular hard drive. And then you have your video settings, your audio settings. This can be tricky. 
depending on how your audio is set up. But basically, if you have a headset, you set your desktop audio device to your headset. If you have a microphone on your headset, you set your microphone to that same device. And sometimes you have to reinitialize. Sometimes you have to shut everything down, re -back, open it back up. Sometimes you have to just open and close OBS. But eventually, you can usually get it working. Hotkeys, if you want to have hotkeys, you can use that. I don't use that particularly. I don't do a lot of OBS stuff, except for switching to scenes here and there, which I'll go over in a little bit. Um, and the quick seek encoder, you have a browser, microphone noise gate, and scene switcher. But anyway, nothing but the most important thing is to get that stream key set up, and then you can start streaming from there. Now, to actually stream DDO, let's just go here. And this is just a simple scene that I have set up for just DDO, just as an example. And what you do, oops, you have your scenes and your sources. And your sources are all the things that are on the screen, and your scenes are collections of those things. So if I look at, for example, my self promo, it is a scene which is what you see on the screen. It's just a promo for myself. And what I have are these sources that are very simple, just text sources. I change the font, size, color, outlines, all that, put the text in, and hit OK, and there it is on the page. And then I move it around to wherever I want it to. I do a bunch of those in a row, and then I create that scene. Wild those sources. I throw in a couple graphics. Not a big deal. It's a very simple screen. You, scene you can set up yourself. Um, it, keep in mind this works sort of like Photoshop layers where you, whatever's on top will be on top of everything else. Um, I'll get more into that when you're starting to talk about layering over games and stuff, but this is a basic. If you want to set up something like this, it's really easy. Go set a scene, set a name for it, go to sources, add a source, add a text source, and let's just call it test, even with a misspell error extra caps there. We're just going to say testing, testing, test. And it is going to be white, 48 point aerial, blah, blah, blah. Throw it in there and there you have it. Up here at the top of the screen. And if you need to relocate anything, you can go edit scene. And you can move and resize and all that fun stuff. So that's how you create a basic scene for anything. Um, the text is just handy. It's right here. It's easy to change. Um, I use it for the DDO stream promo as well. I, I just do a bunch of different sources for the different text lines and then throw it all together and arrange it however it works and call it good. Um, anyway, back to DDO. So for the actual DDO itself, it's really easy to start up DDO. However you start it up, I use DDO ML, but if you want to use the regular client or the Steam client or whatever you have you, you can do that. And then once it's launched, you want to alt tab back to OBS and you select the application. It's that simple. If it's not running, it won't be in the application list. So it has to be open and running. And one thing about DDO for OBS is that you have to have it in windowed mode or it doesn't work. At least I haven't been able to get it to work in full screen. So, if you go down here, you see that, hey, look, D&D client, Dungeon Dragons Online, and that's the one you want. You hit OK, and then you can see, hey, look, there's DDO. And that's all you need to do. You're off and running. You hit Start Streaming, Stop Streaming when you're done. You can start and stop recording if that's what you're doing. Very quick and easy. Now, let's show a quick example of what I have here. I have an overlay and all it is is my not work graphic. So all I did was went to scenes, add image, found my graphic. I didn't do anything else. I just hit OK and it's on screen. I edit scene. You can see the red handles around. I can resize, move, whatever I need to do. Once I'm happy, I'm done. That's all I need to do. Now let's look at now that you have the basics down, let's go ahead and look at the more advanced examples. 
and I'll just quickly show you what I have, all the stuff I have in my normal DDO stream stuff. I've got the server name, I've got my network logo, I've got my URL, I've got my email, I've got an overlay over the chat window, I've got chat overlay, I've got my dragon camera, I've got the virtual keyboard, and I got I've got things like my break sign, a little starting soon sign. Um, if I want to see, show a screenshot of something or other, I've got one. To, I can quickly ha hop in there. But notice how, with all of these, that the DDO game window is at the bottom. Because everything else has to go on top. If you have the DDO, if I look at order and I do move up, you'll start seeing things disappear. There goes the DDO low to go. There goes my email, there goes the Twitch, there's my not work, there goes the server. And as I come back down, those all reappear. So keep in mind that layering when you're trying to layer things above. And I'll do an advanced video to show more of that stuff. But yeah, that's how quickly and easily, in theory, OBS and DDO work together with Twitch to have you start streaming. So again, thanks for watching. Hope that you enjoyed this and it was useful to you. As always, appreciate follows, subscriptions, likes, favorites, bookmarks, retweets, whatever you want to call it, on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, my website, and Steam. See you next time.